So I'm going to show you guys how to make a praying mantis nymph jar. And what is a nymph? Baby praying mantis. So here are the items that I'm going to be using throughout this tutorial. And um, you'll kind of see what they are throughout the video. So anyways, this is the jar that I'm going to be using. And it already has a handle, which you can get at Amazon or at your local grocery store. You buy it separately from the jar. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and add black pebbles, which are going to help with drainage in case um, there's uh, too much water added. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this cute little African violet and how I ended up with it. Super crazy story. Anyways, I'm going to take it out of the pot and remove the excess dirt just to see how far down the roots go. And in this case, it looks like they go pretty far down. So uh, it looks like there's going to be more soil in the jar than I initially wanted to use. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Going to straighten that out. And then I'm going to be adding peat moss. Peat moss is acidic, which African violets like acidic environments, so it's going to make the African violet happy, hopefully. I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in, and um, next I'm actually going to be adding, can you guess, activated charcoal, and that's going to help eliminate any odors and fight against fungus and mold. I'm just going to go straighten that out going to be adding the, this is actually organic potting soil with worm castings. And you're going to be seeing me use kitchen utensils throughout this video because they're fairly easy to use with terrarium projects. So the way I got this African violet is that I was searching on Amazon for little plants to add to terrariums. And my computer actually, you know, the battery drained out, it died and shut off and I couldn't use it. So I was like, okay, whatever. And the next day I got a notification from Amazon that they were shipping over African violets. And I was super confused because I don't recall ordering them. So I was just going to return them. But um, when they arrived, they were super tiny and cute. So I've decided to use them for my projects. So what I'm doing here is I'm just basically um, adding more dirt to, you know, make sure the African violet um, is sitting upright and everything. Dusting off the dirt. And next I'm going to go ahead and add moss. And um, I'm not very good at using the chopsticks, I realize, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go ahead and use a fork instead, um, and just kind of, you know, make sure that the moss is in the correct spot. And here inside the terrarium, there's gonna be this group of snails, which we've nicknamed the Tiny Tinas. I don't know if you could see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this choya in. And when adding decorations, make sure that they are beneficial for your praying mantis. Don't add anything heavy. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this off. This mat makes it super easy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mist it. And that's what it looks like from the top. I've added this netting to the this metal lid. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that in. And then here's this little uh, jar necklace that I made um, with feathers from a bird farm. Um, feathers fell off the birds and they just picked them up and I was able to get them. So here it is. And I'm actually gonna be getting my little baby praying mantis in a couple days. So subscribe and stay tuned for updates. Uh, these are some other terrariums that I might be using in the future for when the praying mantis grows up, but I'm not sure what I'll be using yet. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.